Hello, my dear students. In this video, I will discuss about uh, different types of network. In my last video, you have seen uh, different types of topology. Here, in this video, I will discuss different types of network. Then, I will uh, use some um, the uses of network as well. That I will tell you. See, there are basically four types of network. That is span, LAN, MAN and WAN. These are all based on distance, remember. Okay, first one is PAN. PAN stands for Personal Area Network. I will tell you what it is. See, let's say you have a mobile phone and uh, you have data into your mobile. You are using internet. And a person or your friend who is very next to you, let's say two uh, your friend is there who is very next to you, they would like to use internet as well but they don't have data into their mobile and there is no Wi-Fi as well. So what you did is, you have using a, a software like Hotspot, you have shared your data to them and then they have used the internet. That means, what does it mean? You three build up a network, you are the host and two of your friends are using your data that means your data has been shared and they they are using it this is called pan personal area network this is not only with hotspot or wife uh, like the data I'm talking about it could be with the computer it could be with the laptop as well okay or with any other devices here what i have written i'm reading it out a pan is a computer network remember i'm telling it's a computer network that interconnects devices of an individual person's workplace. So it's an individual, individual person's workplace. It provides data transmission among devices such as computer, smartphone, tablets, etc. A pen, it could be wear or wireless. But only thing you will have to remember, it's the data is being shared from an individual or an individual, a person is a host here and the others are using his datas. Okay, that is pan personal area network. Hope you have understood. Next one is LAN. This is very common, you have heard about it. LAN stands for local area network. What does it mean? Let's say in an office, there are two, three rooms or just think about your computer lab. And in, in, in your school, definitely you have a computer lab. And in your school, assume there are 20 computers. And all those computers want, uh, the teachers or your uh, IC teacher wants to connect all of them together. So the network that will be builded over there is called a LAN, local area network. It could be in a room, it could be between the rooms, it could be in the whole school or into the universities or in a specific office okay local area network this also can be with it can be done by where or wireless okay so i'll read it out what i have written here for you guys a lan is a computer network that spans a relatively small area here relatively small area this area i have compared with not with pan rather with man metropolitan network that i will discuss in the next session in the uh, after this one after once i finish it most often a land is confined to a single room as i told you before it could be in a building or a group of buildings as well okay land is suitable like if you think about a university which may have different departments and different buildings if they want to build up a network over there if they build up a network that will be a local area network. Local area network, what does it require to build up? Uh, what is the basic requirements to building up a local area network? We need cable, we need switches, it, we need router or other, in other components that let users to connect to internal servers. Here we need a server as well. But uh, in, it doesn't mean that all the cases servers is required. But if, if there is a server, it will be a very good one. 
because all the data will be stored over there okay and the data can be shared among the among the other computers okay hope you have understood this one as well so if you think about if you compare between pan and lan pan is a individual a person who is having that having data he is sharing it this is the best example of pan personal network though it could be with the computer as well but local area is little bit different pan maybe with among the three four persons or maximum five six guys not more than that but here over here 50 60 even 100 computers can be added but here also area is a factor area is a very big factor here okay it could be in an office again i'm repeating it could be in a school in an office in the university buildings among the university among the buildings in the university okay next one that we have is metropolitan area network assume that your school is having multiple branches okay as if it belongs to dhaka city and your school is having four or five branches and all the branches wants to connect with each other okay they want the your school management wants to bring them all under the same network so those schools those like all those your branches are belongs to the same city so if all those schools are connected under the same network then that will be called as metropolitan area network you will have to remember one thing this metropolitan area network it's not possible to connect with the help of copper cable if they want to connect using the cable then we will have to go we will have to use fiber optic cable or there could be a point to point connection or the land phone line the helps of land phone line can be taken to build up metropolitan area network okay next one is wide area network very widely used and all of you know about it wide area network if i talk about internet that is actually wide area network what it is a network which might be in a city throughout the country or throughout the world then that will be called as wide area network that means actually wide area network is the combination or connection between many network of a connection of hundreds of thousands of networks i'll read it out a one is a net a one is a network that covers a large geographic area such as across cities states or countries the easiest way to understand for a one for a one is to think of the internet as a whole so we can say internet is one wide area network hope you guys have understood this one as well so we came to know about pan we have finished lan man and when these are the four types of network that we have okay now i would like to talk about the use of network also in my previous video i have told the use of networks in a different way okay and this is a little bit different i hope you have heard about cloud computing you have heard about dropbox so first one uh, that cloud computing this cloud computing is only possible because of this network what does this cloud computing mean cloud computing a host computer which will be there somewhere we do not know okay but we can use the resource of that computer from anywhere throughout the world okay like if i read it out hopefully you will understand more in the simplest term cloud computing means storing and accessing data and programs over the internet instead of your computer's hard drive let's say a very popular website uh, where you can watch movies now hundreds of movies are there so you just go over there click uh, select a specific movie and you can watch it that means that movie is there somewhere 
where it is indefinitely into a computer which where every all the movies or other things are stored and we are using from our computer that movie doesn't belong to our hard disk it is not there into my hard disk even then i can watch it so that is called concept of cloud computing cloud computer okay to use this one we definitely need internet service otherwise we cannot use this uh, service cloud computing cannot be done in cloud computing users do not need to do any management so let's say you are a user you are not bothered about the management of that you should not be bothered about it only thing is you just use it you are a end user you just use it someone else or maybe a company or maybe individuals they are managing it okay from anywhere from any part of the world okay for today the last one is dropbox i have this one you have heard about you all of you know about pen drive you know isn't it let's say uh in your home there is a file and you would like to carry it to your friend so we are going to your friend so and uh, you would like to carry a very important file for your friend so what will you do definitely you will use a pen drive you will copy it then you will carry it to your friend's house isn't it that is one way to do there is another way which is called dropbox let's say you have installed let me tell you this dropbox is totally free you can download it from uh, you go to google uh, you just write dropbox and you can download it it will work just like a pen drive but it is one line that means you just download dropbox you keep your important or any files okay which you like to uh, use from somewhere else from some other part of the world or from anywhere of the world so you keep into your computer and the place from where you want to open you just open dropbox there with your id and password okay you will get the same file over there as well okay it's amazing it's a amazing service that you can get so i'll read it out again for this one dropbox is a very popular cloud storage service again i'm repeating it's a cloud storage services you do not to store it into your all the computers it is there in your computer you just save it into the you drop it into the cloud it is there okay you go anywhere and everywhere you open a uh, dropbox over there into that computer into that laptop you can get it it's a it's an amazing thing i mean really it's an amazing thing other there are other uses of network as well like <clears throat> if you think about e ticketing like let's say you are in qatar and you would like to go to bangladesh or you are in bangladesh you would like to go somewhere some other part of the world and uh, you want to get you want to purchase ticket so uh, you can purchase a ticket online or <clears throat> if you go to any agencies you, you can get ticket from there they use the network actually otherwise this e ticketing that e ticketing is not possible hope you have understood that's all for today okay i hope you like it if you like it click on like i prefer comments from you guys that's i really like if you have any doubts you just put a comment so that i can answer you okay i can make your uh, doubt more clear uh, i hope all of you will subscribe press on bell button to get my next video the notify for the notification of my next next video thank you very much